Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So we are gonna go ahead and finish up this tumbler today. So if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram at Peri6Designs and you can follow us on TikTok at Peri6Glitter. And so yeah, let's get started. So sorry this video is so late. <clears throat> if you can't tell by my voice a little bit that I was sick, I went to a five-year-old's birthday party and I came home with a little touch of something. Uh, not COVID, thank goodness, got tested twice, was never COVID, so very thankful for that. But, you know, of course, like I always tell y'all, the videos take a back seat. I have my husband to help me run the actual business, but these kind of things just take a back seat to my rest. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to finish telling you guys about Cuba. And so um, if you need more instructional videos, I do have more instructional videos on my channel. So just go look for those, but this is more entertainment. So yeah, I've talked for a minute. Let's get to the story. Okay. So I'm going to tell you guys about our adventure trying to leave Cuba. You're like, how is it an adventure trying to leave Cuba? And I'm going to tell you. So first <laughs> me and my husband, we had caught a taxi and I don't remember but we had caught a taxi somewhere earlier in the day. Like our flight didn't leave till like 5 p.m. And so we had caught a taxi earlier in the day. And the guy was like, oh, y'all know, like, I do like private taxi, like wherever y'all need to go, I can take y'all. We're like, oh, bet. Because like, again, it's Cuba. It's hard to set up a lot of stuff in advance. And so we knew we just going to have to hail, hail a cab when we were there, when we were ready to leave. And so we told the guy like, hey, if you can come back and pick us up at like 2, 2.30, um, that would be perfect. He was like, okay, cool bet. So like we paid him for our first ride and he said, all right, I'm gonna be back right here. He dropped us off at our apartment. He was like, I'm gonna be back here for at 2.30 to get y'all. We like, all right, cool. Y'all 2.30 came and went and this man was nowhere to be found. So me and my husband are standing outside because we've, at this point, we're standing outside. We've left the keys to the Airbnb inside the apartment and essentially locked ourselves out. And we're just standing out on the curb in front with our two big pieces of luggage like okay now what but they're like three blocks from our airbnb there was a hotel so we knew we could catch a cab over there so we trek with all our luggage <laughs> over to the hotel and we get a cab like that so i'm like oh my goodness like i'm you'd be like all right i'm ready to go like that rubbed me wrong and like i told y'all in the first video i don't have any like cuba Cuba and Amsterdam are the our two favorite countries that we've ever visited. I highly recommend them. Like, there's no shade to Cuba or the country, and I definitely think people should go there. It's an experience that you will never have in your life, I'm sure. We loved it. The food was amazing. The people were amazing. You know, they scam a little bit. But, you know, who in America don't scam a little bit? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, finally, we get our ride to the airport, and we're on our way. We're happy. We're like, whew, okay, that didn't work out. But, you know, we're on our way home. Let's get back to our life. So I always keep a little bit of currency from wherever I went to, you know, save and scrapbook um, about our journey. So I maybe had like 10, 10 to 20 bucks, no more than $20 in local currency left. And so we check in, you know, we get our passport stamp to leave the country because you get an entry stamp and an exit stamp. And we're just sitting there waiting. And the airport, the airport is like... I don't want this to be dramatic and be like, it's like a detention camp, but like the shit don't got no air conditioning. <laughs> like it's hot in there. They only got a fan running. They don't really have any, there, there's no real food in there. Like it's, it's very, and this is in Havana, if I didn't say it in the last time, in the last one, um, it, there just isn't much to do, but catch your flight. And so, um, I go and change my outfit. Cause you know, I put on my travel outfit once I get to the airport and we're sitting there and we're like, where the hell is the plane? The plane, the, the 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 plane just goes back and forth to Miami. It's a thirty minute flight back and forth to Miami. Where is the plane? Plane nowhere to be found. We're like, okay, um, cool, okay. Um, we see WestJet leaving, Air Canada leaving, everybody else Delta leaving. I'm on. We on American. American plane nowhere to be found. We're like, okay. So my husband, he takes the money, like he go get him a couple of drinks at the bar. I'm like, huh, just, you know, we sit here, just take the money, go get you some drinks. And so finally the plane gets there. Woo, we're excited. It's after, we're, we're already delayed because the plane is late, but we're excited. We're like, okay, cool. At least the plane's here. I just want to get to Miami. And so we stood on board. We're just sitting there, sitting there. I keep getting messages from 
American Air telling me how the plane's delayed, the plane's delayed. And let me remind y'all, every text message coming in is 50 cents. Because remember, we're in a country where the phone don't work. So they charging you premiums. I'm like, I just want to get to Miami. I just want to get to Miami. So then the plane is so delayed that they send us the food vouchers and the hotel voucher. They was like, here's your hotel voucher. When you get, because we were on the last flight leaving Miami to New Orleans and we weren't going to make it. So they went ahead and sent us the hotel voucher. I'm like, perfect. Let's just get to Miami. We can rest and we can get on the first flight back home in the morning. So cool. We finally get on the plane. I'm relieved. Like, y'all know when y'all be ready to go, you just be ready to go. Like, vacation was over for me mentally. I was ready to go. So I always let my husband have the window seat. I always sit in the middle seat. And there was a guy next to me. This guy proceeds to take off his shoes. And he had on no goddamn socks. Disgusting. Like, I, I wear slides, like slide on sandals with socks on the plane. Because if I do want to take off my shoes, like slide off my sandals, at least I have socks on. Because if not, that's just gross. Um, and then he proceeds to blast rap music. And I'm a hood rat. I love rap music. And like, this is no shade to the white people. Cause y'all know I love y'all. I don't get, I don't got a problem with nobody. So you give, give me a problem to have a problem with you. But like, I know people try to use that to co- like music to connect with each other. But sir, we have been sitting in the airport for five fucking hours and I'm ready to get to Miami cause I want to go to bed. If you don't turn that shit down, I do not want to hear it right now. If it's not Jill Scott and Erica Badu, I do not want to hear it. Turn it down, turn it down and put your shoes on. Is what I wanted to say, but I didn't. I just kept looking at my husband like, we about to switch seats because I'm not going to sit next to him blasting this music in my goddamn ear. And all I want to do is get to Miami. So you could tell there was clearly a storm brewing. um, And that there was a storm brewing. But y'all know, I... (laughs) Not only did I work for the Boeing company, you know, manufacturers of aircraft, I also worked for Pratt & Whitney, a.k.a. the manufacturers of jet engines. I had no concerns about taking off in the storm because we just got to get above the clouds. My husband's like, "Mm -mm, this looks dangerous. I said, F all that. I want to go. I said, the pilot needs to pump this thing, get it up in the air, let's go. And so we're just riding back and forth, back up and down the runway. We ride to one end and they say, oh, no. We're going to take off from the other end. We ride to the other end. Oh, no, we're going to take off from the other end. So we do this about five, six times. These people, get y'all, I swear to you not, these people get on the mic and they're like, hey, everyone, um, our crew just ran out of flying hours. So we're going to return to the airport. I said, say what? Why did y'all send a crew who only had 30 minutes of flying time? And they burnt it riding up and down the runway. I said, I'm never doing this again. I said, I want to go. Like, there's no crew coming. There's no one to save us. At this point, it's 10 o'clock at night. And y'all want to know what the delay was? Why the plane took so long to leave and we didn't beat the storm? Apparently, at the Cuban airport, they only got one ladder to put the luggage in the planes. And so, because our plane was late, they had moved on to the other flights, and we had to go last. So, we were waiting on luggage to get put in the plane, but they only had one ladder. So, everyone who was leaving on time and was there on time got in front of us. And it's funny. This is a confirmed story. I'm not even being dramatic because my husband worked with someone who is Cuban and lived in Cuba. And literally, when my husband was telling him story when he got to work the next day because he missed the day of work because we got delayed, the guy was like, dang, they still only got that one ladder ladder no lie not even gonna lie and so I'm like what are we gonna do because at this point we have no monies I'm, I'm now I have to text someone so now I'm texting my mom remember my sister's still in Cuba my mom was like your sister said just come to her apartment I said mom I don't even have no money to pay the taxi my sister she, my, my, my mom's the servant to go put me my sister's like she don't she got money just get there I'm like no it's American Airlines job to make sure we got home and they didn't do that so it's their job at this point to make sure that we are safe in Cuba tonight so after eight after another two to three hours trying to get our luggage leaving out the airport and all this other BS we have to we get to they put us on a tour bus that we have to wait another hour outside of the airport for the tour bus because of course everyone's trying to rush onto the buses at the same time so we get on the bus I don't have a clue where we're going they don't tell us where we're going oh because did I mention besides us and the crew we were the only Americans I'm like, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm looking at everybody's passport. Like, no one else has a blue passport but us. And the crew, the crew, like, we didn't even bring our passports because we weren't supposed to leave the plane. Because, again, they only had 30 minutes of flying time. It was a turnaround trip for them. And I'm like, so we're, like, sticking with the fucking air crew (laughs) because we're, like, we're all the only Americans, like, 
stick together, guys. But, like, of course, the air crew gets treated well, and they get on the very first bus to go to the hotel because they're screwed. And they're trying to make sure no, they don't have no problems because they don't even have passports to be in the country. They're not even authorized to enter. And so we get to the hotel, and we stand in this long line. At this point, it's after midnight. We finally get a hotel room, and it's about 2 a.m. They said they're going to come back and get us at 6. I'm like, I just want to take a shower and go to bed. This has been a nightmare. I want to leave. And I'm like, this hotel, like, the lobby was real nice. I said, oh, but this hotel, real raggedy. Like, this one star, maybe two at best. Y'all, I, I, want, I go in the bathroom, and I go to turn on the shower. Why is there a roach in the shower? I said, oh, my goodness, American Airlines and put us in a Cuban roach motel. I want to go. So now I'm telling my husband to pick everything up off the floor because I'm not taking no roaches home with me. I ain't taking no roaches home. Pick up everything off the floor. I feel disgusting. I don't want to get in the shower. I feel gross. I've, I've been traveling. I've been in a bunch of places and situations with no air conditioning. I already told you I'm a sweater. I'm just like, I just want to leave. I just want to go. I barely slept that night. I was so happy. We finally left Cuba at about 8 a.m. And I was like, I will feel so much better when these wheels go up. And when the wheels took off that runway, I was like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm just happy to be going home. And y'all better believe I pitched a fit and got all our money back because I was not playing with American Airlines because they thought it was, they thought that shit was cute. And, and we left Cuba at 8 a.m. when I tell y'all we didn't get home till 9 p.m. because we missed the first flight leaving out of Miami. Had to get routed to Dallas and then had to go from Dallas to New Orleans because the next flight leaving Miami that was nonstop to New Orleans wasn't until 10 p.m. that night, a.k.a. the original flight we were supposed to be on. And they was trying not to give my money back. I seen another lady up there crying. I said, all right, cool. When I get to Dallas, which is their headquarters, I'm going to find a customer service desk and I'm going to act just how she acted because they would, they act like they had no sympathy for me because at that point I was turned up. I was mad. But now I'm like, okay, I see they, they only want to deal with the Gentile women. I'm going to get my mind right, and I'm going to go up to that service desk, and I'm going to get my money back. And I did, because, and I got flight vouchers, because I was not playing them. And I got us food, food vouchers to eat in Dallas, because I was not playing with them. So that is our adventure of how we finally escaped Cuba. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this part two of the story. I hope you guys enjoy the bling tumble that I'm making. Um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. Check out our website, periodsexclutter.com, where you can find all of these rhinestones. And I will see you guys in the next one.